France, day one. Philadelphia woman gets rental car and ticket. Tells cop future of Franco-American relations is at stake. I can't take this. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Daughter looks for hole, wants to crawl into it. I am not gonna let this ticket get me down. I'm gonna enjoy the streets of Paris, the skies of Paris. If I use traveler's checks at the ticket booth, do you think they'll stiff us on the exchange? Mom, just stand right there, okay? Quit acting like an American. Oh, boy. We better find the elevator. It's not that high. Come on, Mama. Everybody takes the elevator. I can't believe we didn't take the elevator. But this is good. This is good. If you happen to be 20. Mom, we're experiencing Paris. That means walking it. This isn't walking. This is mountain climbing. Come on, all the way to the top. This isn't the top. Summit within sight. But expedition forced to make base camp at second level. I'll get it, Mom. Thanks, honey. I can't move. Just relax, Mom. I am relaxed. Haven't you seen a long-distance runner drop dead after a race? That's relaxed. I guess that means, uh, you're gonna want to take the elevator down? Aren't you gonna look at the view? I'm trying. Yeah, but with that thing stuck in your eye, how can you enjoy the sights, the atmosphere? Sights. The atmosphere. I'm soaking it all in, Mom. Oh. You know, when we were in college, your father and I used to dream about coming here, sitting where Fitzgerald and Hemingway sat. Well, his priorities sure have changed since then. I wonder if they paid $5 for orange juice. Good or wine. This is the natives drink. It's cheaper. Do you think there'll be much drinking when you go away to college? You mean, am I gonna get crazy drunk and wake up in some strange motel room and forget where I'm supposed to take the COM-1 final? Hmm. Maybe when I'm under stress. Come on, I will miss the boat. Beautiful day. I'm glad we're going on the boat. I'm glad we're together. Constancia! Constancia! Constancia, it's me! Incredible. Incredible. And more beautiful than ever. Some people thought you were dead. Or perhaps had run off to marry Rich Gringo. <laughs> How could you do that to your friends, Constancia? I tried. I, I wanted to explain. Oh, I've missed you. How I've missed you. So? Why did you run? Can I trust you? There is so much to explain. Will you ever forgive me? I think we should find a quiet place. So, Constancia, Paris seems to agree with you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. You have no idea. I've missed you. 
I still can't believe I found you again. Oh, yes. <laughs> On the left, it stands the Cathedral of Notre Dame. In 1163, Pope Alexander III laid the cornerstone. The towers are 68 meters high. The North Tower contains 376 steps. Thought you wanted a quiet place. A private place. For a tete a tete or or a deal. A lot of money was missing, Constancia. It's not just me who has to forget. We answer to a big family. And we don't keep things from family. Wow. Mom, get a load of this. One second, Mom. Just come here. Look, look. Do you see them? Authentic French lovers. But you loved me once. This is another chance for us. I'm sorry. Where are 
are you pointing that thing? Honk City. I know you're past taking advice, but a little subtlety never hurt a woman. Right. Hey, Tex! tell you, youth hostels is the best way to see Europe. Yeah. New kids every day, Beaujolais Nouveau every night, and party, party, party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Some of us are going to go down to Lyon, poetry, and then we hit the beaches at camp. A little sun and some outrageous fun of the Club de Zur. Think you can stain it? What, Riviera? You bet. Want to come along? Megan! Yeah? Stone Fox. She with you? <clears throat> That's my sister. We're just bumming around together. She has a disease. Allow me. Howdy, ma'am. Thank you. Again, that's crazy. No, not crazy. Wishful thinking. Fine, fine. I'm out of here. Abandon me then. Abandon me. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Get back in here. No. I've never abandoned anyone in my whole life. What do you call this then? Megan.
seemed a little distracted. I must be getting old. You? Never. I'm just... What is it, my little one? Hmm? Tell me what it is. Oh, it's just... It's just some awful American women. Mm. They crash into me in their car. I have one of their names written someplace. They said they had insurance. But I was so furious. I didn't get where they were staying. I suppose I could locate their hotel, if they're in Paris. No, Bernard, that's asking too much. You didn't ask. No, no, really. It's just a private matter. And I'll do it, because I adore you. Come to me. We're still talking. Hmm. I've had some time to do some thinking. And I'm going to accept you now as a responsible woman. And I agree that you have every right to live your life any way you choose to. OK. Listen, I apologize for what I said before. No need to apologize. I've forgotten all about it. Of all people. For what? Well, like Elsewhere today, a gruesome discovery in the shadow of Notre Dame. Downstairs. A man was shot to death. Police identified the victim as Joaquim Prades. Prades was the son of a Panamanian diplomat who was forced into retirement last year because of the family's reputed connections with the South. American I want this to be Marianne. our vacation. Police. Will not Me too. The I'll do whatever you want to do. But his father interviewed by <laughs> telephone said okay. he was shocked and grieved. He said that he hoped his son's killers would be brought to justice. Um, wait, Mom, the Moulin Rouge, isn't that a tourist trap? I mean, like a, a floor show like Las Vegas. No, like Shirley MacLaine in Can Can or Jose Ferrer when he played Toulouse Lautrec. Besides, we don't have to drive. That's a blessing. <laughs> hey, two American girls out on the town. Parisian men, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> We got French fries being whipped up by, uh, I don't know, he's an off-duty gourmet chef. Ouais, alors ça va me coûter combien là, ça, tout ça? Food, food, yeah. Oh, here we go. On duty, we have French business women finalizing a deal. And somewhere there's a Parisian mother who wishes she'd kept a closer look on her daughter. Mom, put it down. I don't know if walking in this part of town, oh my God, is such a good idea. It's a terrible idea, Madame Mademoiselle. <laughs> Very much fun here. Very nice. Very nice, beautiful ladies, nice ladies. Well, we... Very special, very artistic, no comments. No, 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 no. Okay? Uh, okay. Oh, American, I bet you. We are. We... Oh, yes, come we just... in, come in. Man.
What's the no, problem? Please! Call the police! All right, madam. What's the problem? Here's the police. Somebody took my purse. A man took my purse. What man? Can you describe him? Yes. He was, uh, well, he was wearing a gold earring, I think. How much money did you have in your purse? <laughs> he didn't actually take any money. What did your purse look like? I see. That's the purse he took? Yes. Yes. An unknown assailant attempted to steal my purse, but was unsuccessful. Is that it? It was an attempted robbery. I am attempting to help. Then why aren't you chasing him? An unknown assailant. Thank you very much for your help. Madame Brennan? Here is the telephone number of my prison with my extension. If something more concrete comes to mind, please feel free to call me. Voila. Voila to you too, buddy. Mom. He was cute, wasn't he? That's enough for one night. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Why do you suppose the chief works so late? Doesn't have to deal with pickpockets and pimps anymore. Why? Henry. I never thought about it. I'll tell you why. Dedication? No. This is dedication. <laughs> Ambition. And you know why? I don't like him. Have you ever seen his lady friend? Mm -mm. <gasps> What about the townhouse, the country place, or the cars? On his salary? Uh, his wife's money. I'll tell you what. It's not fair. It's not fair for one man to have so much. Alibert! Oui? Now! Oui. Ah, Madame Brennan. Here I am. Is this concrete enough for you? is missing? A uh, light summer jacket. We didn't see anyone, and neither did anyone else. I checked with the desk clerk, and he spoke with the maid. Very good. I take it you don't have jewels. Well, I didn't bring any with me when I came to Paris, if that's what you mean. I assume you carry your money with you. Yes. That's why nothing was taken. My best guess is that you have been the victim of two unfortunate circumstances. I'm sure the other things happen in America. Yes. But not all the time and everywhere we go. This is not a coincidence. And in America, when a citizen is in trouble, the police actually try to help. And even when the citizen doesn't happen to be American, the police still try to help. Yeah. 
You want an investigation? You've got it. Shall I dust the panties? I'm running out of film. <coughs> Take your time. Good job, boys. I'll see you're recommended for medals. Breakfast will do. The room has been thoroughly checked. Your presence will no longer contaminate the crime scene. Therefore, you may return momentarily. I need to fingerprint you first. You what? Fingerprints. I need to compare what I've taken from the room to... I need to fingerprint you. All right. We're humiliated. We're tired. You've had a real good time pushing us around and you've kept us up half the night. Congratulations. Touché. Who? The man! The man who took our purse! Oh my hey. gosh! Hey! Hey! Stop! Stop! What did you do? Hey! hey. Stop! 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 I caused you a great inconvenience. I didn't take you seriously enough. Forgive me, madame. Apology accepted. Until I know what to make of these events, caution and your part is suddenly called for. Caution. Is going back to Philadelphia cautious enough for you? With your permission, madame? would like to move you to a different hotel. A place where no one knows where you are. Does this seem normal to you? Mom, why can't you just relax and enjoy it? Maybe the inspector knows the manager's cousin or something. And he wanted you to stay in a nice place. Because he probably has a crush on you. For a guy who started out to be such a pill. He sure came a long way. He came on pretty strong. I was kind of proud of you. Yeah? Well, he did push all the wrong buttons. Of course, he did apologize. Maybe we should have gone home. What, because of a couple of mishaps? At least no one knows where we are. That's right. Night, Mom. Night, honey. Day two. Very nice. The way things should be. Very ritzy. Very... Oh, oh, there's Mother, looking very stylishly undercover. She's a little jumpy in this high rent district, thinks there must be a catch. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. Hey, things are looking up, huh? We should stay together. And the more I think of it, we should leave Paris. What's wrong? Oh, my God. 
We're witnesses to a murder. Yes, Captain Abrams, I have spoken with Interpol. And now I'm appearing to the Philadelphia police. Mm -hmm. No domestic violence. No suspected addictions. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I'm not suggesting anything at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get back to Mrs. Brennan. Would a jealous lover have any reason to... Parking tickets, moving violations, <laughs> lousy driver, eh? <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Captain Abrams. I do appreciate your cooperation. Bye. What is business? You were checking up on me. I have to follow all leads. I got something you're going to want to check up on. Here, I'll rewind it. You can look at it again. Tell fairly well the man is Paradis, the Panamanian. I didn't recognize the woman, but I will be cross checking with Interpol as soon as we can get a good rendering to send out. Obviously, Commissaire, it will be helpful if we could see the tape on a bigger screen. TV system is is different. Um, you have to get the tape converted. I can take care of it, with your permission. Madame Brennan, I sincerely thank you and your daughter on behalf of the French police. I hope this matter has not spoiled your vacation. Well, I guess the vacation isn't a vacation unless something goes wrong. That's why it's so memorable. The inspector said he put you up in a different hotel. It's satisfactory? Well, we do feel safer. The Royal Monceau. I got them a special right. Two shot of you two. A two shot. Uh, listen, it's not every day I'm in a French police station, all right? Actually, call me Daniel. Barbara. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Inspector, just pretend you're persecuting her over the parking tickets or something. Okay. <laughs> Emery. May I talk to you for a moment? Excuse me. 
Um... Don't they all? Inspector, this murder is not in our jurisdiction. You can continue looking after the women, but I'll have to end the videotape directed to the brigade in charge. Yes. But what about them? Well, you know how political these rivalries are. And I'll see to it you get full credit. In due time. And I always remember that what you've done honors our whole precinct. What's wrong? Someday he'll be Minister of the Interior and I'll still be here. He took the tape, told me to drop the case, keep my mouth shut, and just look after you. Hardship duty, huh? Oh, no, no, I mean, a, a pleasure, most certainly. I thought you might enjoy a movie. Movie? But what? A movie? Converted from this home video taken by some awful American women. What? Going away? No time for a nice, dirty movie? But listen! Ah! And this time, don't tell me about car crashes. Ah! Don't ever lie to me again! Do you know who Joaquin Pradas was? A vile man. And you were kissing him like a slut. Like his lover. Yes! At one time I was. In a former life, a horrible life. When I came to you for help with my residency card, didn't you ever wonder what I did in Panama? Who I was? Where all this money came from? Don't look away! You always look away! I live only for the moment. I thought I loved you. Bernard, if you love me, you have to know me. I faked my own death, and I took money. A lot of money. Enough to come here and create a new life, but not enough to buy happiness. That's what you brought. Three years of happiness. And I'll do anything, Bernard, anything to save that. I knew. You killed this man. It was an accident. Would you like me to submit to a man like that again? This is not the right tape. Is this a cruel joke? But in my office, I saw. Emery gave me the evidence himself. <sighs> he kept the real tape. Then he will talk. And I will die, because Prada's people will hunt me down. Henry gave me the wrong tape. He must already know who I am, my connection to you. He's trying to set us up. Yes. All I did was help to find these people. I'm in this up to my neck. You're in this up to your heart. Don't you see? You have 
You work so hard to get where you are. You have so much to look forward to. It would be terrible to lose it all now. When all you did was love me. We have to get the tape. And if your inspector and his American friends can identify me without the tape. Bernard, we have to get the tape. We have to get them. Daniel. Ça va, merci. Hello. Hi. Um, this is Luke. He's going to show me the sewers of Paris, like in Les Misérables, where Jean Valjean escaped. <laughs> Monsieur, the sewers, hey? Yes, uh, all the flea market, atmosphere, you know. You are throwing me over for a younger man. I had my heart set on taking you out today. We should stay together. Well, I've seen enough tourist stuff. Perhaps we can all go together. I'll see what's keeping my mom. Excuse me. Mom? Yeah? Mom, come on, everybody's waiting. Listen, I met this guy at breakfast, okay? So be nice if you could act like you sort of like him. I'll okay? give it a try. Um, Mom, not pants. A dress, something, something soft and clingy. You're telling me about soft and clingy? You wore chrome and hot leather to the prom. Mom, I think uh, Daniel would like it if you wore some heels. Typical. You suppose that's what your father thought? What? When we had that fight in the car, you said you knew why he left. Well, who cares? There's someone waiting for you downstairs. You can wait. This is important. Not to me, it isn't. You're a lot like him. What's that supposed to mean? And the more he wanted to leave, the more I tried to keep him. Look, I talked to him maybe, maybe once a month. Okay, and that's if I call. I get a birthday card on a lucky year. I don't know why he left. I don't know what he thinks about you. I don't even know what he thinks about me. Okay? The problem was between your father and me. It wasn't your fault. Look. What's past is past. So, why don't we just try and forget him? Oh, God. Mom, I gave Daniel the wrong tape. Hello. Oh, uh, Megan gave you the wrong tape yesterday. This is the right one. They got switched somehow. I suppose you're going to have to take it to the station. <laughs> I think the owner of the precinct can wait a few hours. My chief was very clear. My orders are to watch you. Here they are. 
Shall we go? Yeah. Flea market is very spread out. Do you mind a lot of walking? I love walking. Yesterday I was just telling Megan, how can you see Paris unless you walk? Let's go to the flea market because of the vermin that infested the second-hand goods. At the turn of the century, they still have cases of bubonic plague. Mom, here, take a picture of us. Just look through the viewfinder and push that red button right there. Okay. Okay, wait. Let's see, why don't you uh, hold on over here? Okay, excuse me, I'm gonna get right in here. Okay? Now stand still. No. Oh, oh, day three. Philly co-ed braves Black Death with real Frenchmen. <laughs> what are you doing? It's movies. I'm moving it. Mom. Smile. Oh, look at this. Okay, wait. Here, Mom, hold my bag. Hold my bag. Okay. He is a cutie. C'est le roi du Macadam. Atari la la la. Atari la la la. Can you see those hats? Those look great, are you? Ooh, that was great. What do you think? <laughs> Fantastic. Mom will die. Escargot, that's the only French I know. <laughs> I'm glad we came here. I don't get the flea markets much back home, probably because there aren't any flea markets back home. I hear they've got some gray ones in New York, I mean, among other things. You're talking too much. New York's probably where I'm gonna end up. There's no way I'm gonna stay around where I live now. We better find them. Okay, I'll check back this way. All right, I'll meet you back here. Okay. <laughs> Nearly there, just a sec. Let me see you. Like it? Lovely, but you should... Keep quiet. Follow me. What have you done to my daughter? Walk. You'll find out soon enough.
coming back. Where did the lady go? The lady? Yeah. A guy with a gun. A seance. Grabs her. What What's guy? going on? What guy? Where is she? Gone. She got away. Where? What did the guy look like? Where did they go? You the police. How do I know? Hello, oui. Inspector Emery. Is he there? He's off duty. No, no, no. He was with me. No, Madame Brennan. Has he reported in? That he was with you? No, about my daughter. Please, please, I must speak to the commissaire. Oh, well, I don't know if... For God's sake, this is an emergency. All right. Why aren't the police looking for my daughter? Obviously, Inspector Emery is still giving chase. And now you've reported the kidnapping. So remain calm. I send a man for you at once. Where are you? I, I don't know. They must want the tape. Where am I? You have it then. Does Inspector Emery have the tape? Sir, where am I? Do you where am I? Do you see a street sign? Here, talk Hello? to him. Hello? This is a police matter. Give me the location of the phone booth. No, monsieur, no, monsieur. I have done nothing. My immigration papers are good. No, no. He doesn't understand you. Please, okay, thank you, thank you. Just get a taxi and we'll meet you at the Royal Monceau. I knew where we were You. You knew where we were staying. Madame Brennan. And Emery, too. Madame Brennan! Yes, fine. Where? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
When the thing got away? The tape? I have the camera, but not the right tape. I'll get back to you. Your friend is an idiot. He's not my friend. I have no use for friends. You. You stay with the girl. We still need her. Damn you. Understand? Can you be trusted? More than him. Filmed. Listen, I swear I'm not gonna say anything then. Be quiet. Who has the tape, Megan? Would you prefer Brio to ask the question? I don't know who has the tape. <clears throat> I gave the tape to my mom and she was going to give it to the inspector and I don't know who has the tape. Get in. The landlady. Why the gun? Because, one, you and Vandell were the only ones who knew where we were staying. Two, Luke was sent to our hotel. Three, whoever wants the tape will keep Megan alive until they get it. Four, you better have the tape. Or five, I will blow your head off because Megan is the most important thing in my life. That's why. Uh -uh. Slowly. I also suspected my chief. If I hadn't, when I got back to my car, you saw me go after Megan. Nice act. Quit stalling. Where is she? I don't know. I don't know why Vandal is involved in kidnapping, murder. Save it! Be quiet! My car was blown up. Go to the phone. They wanted to kill me. Go to the phone! Barbara, this has gone far enough. I am on your side. I want you to call the American Embassy. And? They'll keep the tape until I get my daughter back. Right now, the fewer people who know about the tape, the more likely it is that Megan will live. The phone! I 
thought you knew me. When you call your embassy, they will get in touch with my government. Is that what you want? I want my daughter! to use it? No. You better learn.
with a gun! Oh. Yes. You pull until it snaps into place. And don't let go. Okay? Harder. I can't. Yes, you can. Okay. Tell me about Megan. She's not what oh. she seems. Oh. She hides so much. Oh. I feel like I'm the only one who can protect her. Love of God, pool! But I'm doing a lot of jobs. Oh. Harder. Maybe we should catch you to a hospital. I can't trust my chief. We don't have the luxury of trusting anyone else. Just do it. Hello, my pretty little American. It's just you and me here now. Where did you get that? Smile for the camera. What did you do to my mom? Don't hurt my mom. Smile. Oh, God. Just let us go home. 
We'll leave friends and we will never say anything to anybody. Did you hurt my mom? You've got to stop it. Maybe I should try it. How? Where are we going? Where does your chief live? Which way? Fifth exit. Oh, you're good at this. I've had practice. be an alarm system. I'll be careful. Alban, in or out? God's name. Commissaire. How did you get in here? I have something you want. And I want my daughter. So if you just follow me outside, we can discuss the exchange. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Otherwise, the tape is on the news. Emery. Right here. You son of a bitch. Give it to her. You said you had the cassette. Uh oh. Someone has my daughter. I see that the cassette gets delivered to the proper person. And then your daughter will be set free. Sure. What choice do you have? We can kill you right now. I 
know you, Inspector. You're too good a policeman to shoot a man in the back, especially your commissaire. Yeah? And I'm a mother, Barney. Does this thing have to be cocked or something? You pull the trigger. You still lonely for your mama? So then maybe. Am I right? Maybe I could be your boyfriend. Soft skin. You see, I can be very gentle. Most people think I'm just a tough guy. That's enough. <laughs> What's happened? Where's my mother? What's the lair? Man room, kitchen, four bedrooms and a bath at the rear. Where's Megan? I asked your question. I don't know. I didn't take care of that. How many are we up against? Three. I don't know where she is. Just get me into the house. Okay. Let's go back. Haven't we waited long enough? No contact, no tape. They could have an entire SWAT team closing in on us. 
All right. It's time to cut our losses. Take care of the girl. to the bathroom. Light on or off? Where are they? Who? Oh. Emery and the brilliant lady. In the house. Get me loose. Two of her 
was kissing. We could have gone home and nobody would ever know. Nobody. Day five, roles reversed, mother in second childhood. Do you mind? Megan, the Ogda Triumph is over there. Come on, guys. Isn't this what got us into trouble in the first place? Ogda Triumph, right. Hey guys, wait up. 